All right, Kezi and Bryson, it's your dad. And I'm doing these videos for a few different reasons. This will be the first one I do. And I'll give you some context for why, why I'm creating it. And then we'll go to the second video. And sorry, I'm a little bit out of breath because I'm hiking. So the reason I'm doing this for the both of you is that in case anything ever happens to me, I want to make sure that I can share with you everything that I've learned or the key things that I've learned that through the course of your life, you will both find hopefully helpful. Um, you will find that they might be able to take you through some difficult times or help you make some decisions in some good times. And so, you know, when I was little and I was your age, you know, you learn, you learn a lot of things when you're little. You really do. But you're still your, you're still your mom and dad's kids. You're just, you're just little. You're listening to everything. When you get a little older and you go sort of from, I'd say that 16 to sort of 25, I would say that's your first big, you know, really break out on your own, learn a little bit more about who you are. You probably have a number of strong opinions. I know I did at that time. But later, I found out some of them weren't really so, so true. And so one of the things that I always want to teach you, even as you're growing up, is I want you to know why you want to do something, or why you don't want to do something. First is just telling you, and sometimes I'll still be guilty of just telling you don't do this or do that. It's a shortcut as a parent. When you become parents yourselves, you know, you'll, you'll hopefully appreciate and understand that, but I really do want to slow it down as well. I let you know why you shouldn't, shouldn't do things so that you actually know why, and then you can make your own decision as to whether you want to continue doing it or not. And that's really my hope. So, but today's video, I got a couple things. I'm going to cut this and do another video, but I wanted to add some time and place for right now in this moment who yeah where we're at so i am i am 38 it is uh july of 2022 we have sort of ended our pandemic if you will um so when you're a little older maybe you'll remember the covid days although i don't think it'll affect you guys much at all because we didn't really live our lives as a family much differently um than we did before so i think for you guys Probably won't make much difference at all. Uh, but nonetheless, it's giving you a place and time. I'm about to do the cross the lake swim tomorrow, which will be fun. Uh, and, and it's about a two kilometer swim over the Okanagan Lake, which is something I've always wanted to do and never have done. So we'll be doing it. And apparently your mom did it when she was eight. <laughs> you can actually look up her swim time. So she's hoping tomorrow she will beat her eight year old self, which I'm sure she will. And it just goes to show what possible what you can do even when you're eight. So Kezia, you right now are seven. And Bryson, you just turned six. And once again, in case anything ever happens to me, I just want to begin to share these with you. And for anybody else that's watching, these videos are for you too. They're for obviously they're for Kezia and Bryson. But I'm sure they would be happy to share all of this information with you. And more importantly, I, I want to share it with you as well. Anything I've learned, if it can make a difference in your life, that'd be fantastic. Okay, so now I'll shoot my first video for you guys.